Good afternoon. We are extremely pleased that you are here. Good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. This is co-creating at its best. You'll find yourself in the most steady, receptive mode while we are on board this vessel together. And that makes it a special opportunity because unless you are in the receptive mode, most things are bouncing off of you. And unless you are in the receptive mode, meaning under the influence of your natural source energy, then what you hear, you sometimes take the wrong way. In other words, when you're wide open to who you really are, what happens to you is thoughts flow to you. We hear them and we answer them. In these days that we will be together, so many hours, so many delicious hours of conversation and consideration with you contributing and collectively all of us taking thought beyond what it has been before. And as that process unfolds, when you are in the receptive mode and you'll find there's nothing for you to do about it, just sit in your comfort and in your relaxed state and let your mind tune or turn to the direction of, I know I'm going to receive whatever is right for me right here and now. In other words, don't struggle with questions and don't stress about hearing the answer immediately because what happens in a forum like this is the question continues to evolve. Oh, the question evolves. And as the question evolves, so does the answer. And you are in the receptive mode, part of the evolution of the question and also part of the evolution of the answer. This is co-creating. This is not you just showing up with a lifetime full of questions that you've written in your notebook. This is you in real time being who you now are with the questions sort of peaked within you, your life questions, the things that you are wondering about. Many of them just having been stirred up recently because of the life that you've just been living. So there is this pointed place where we are all rendezvousing. We see you have dragged your physical bodies here, but you are so much more than these physical bodies. You are non-physical energy focused within a physical body. And so there are two aspects of you that are converging here. And that convergence will be more often while we are together. It will be more deeply felt by you. And so sometimes what will happen is we will be considering something together and an idea will occur to you, something that you are wondering about or something that you are already knowing about. And you will again and again feel your point of view become woven into the conversation. Never before have you felt so much a part of a larger whole. And that is the thing that we are most exhilarated about this collective consciousness. You're going to find yourself, maybe for the first time, maybe not. Some of you have been there consciously before, but you're going to find yourself part of a greater consciousness and understanding things that you have not understood so clearly before. Now it's going to be normal over the days that are before us that sometimes some insight and clarity will come and you will feel as if everything that you've ever wanted to know is answered, but that's never going to be the case. And the thing that we want to let you know is five minutes later, you may not recall what you knew so much just a moment before. And that's all right, because 
we're just going to loop around again and again and again and again so that the spiraling upward is going to become more and more and more because this is not really about you having a question and us giving you an answer this is really about you discovering what it feels like for you to be in a more consistent way experiencing the awesome power of non-resistant thought now if you're a normal human and you are mostly you don't spend much time in non-resistant thought because you're here in an environment of contrast there's so much for you to observe these are really fast moving times there is so much for you to consider and much of what you are considering is causing you to formulate questions much of what you're considering is your data collection much of what you're considering are things or experiences that you really don't want in your life experience but all of that a value but even while it is a value much of it still has some resistance within it and as you are a part of it through your observation or conversation about it you are resistant in nature too we call that important step one we call that the primary reason that you decided to come forth into this physical body to extend that non-physical consciousness that is you that is eternally you into this personality into this perspective so that you could lap up this experience so that you could revel with others and so that questions could formulate within you so that new desires could be born out of your leading edge experience and you knew before you came into this physical body that those questions would be born and you knew that you would not immediately know the answers it's only now that you are here in these bodies that you are so impatient about the answers and what we know is going to take place in this time that we are together is that that impatience is going to subside because you are going to come to revel in the importance of you allowing a question to sort of evolve within you to germinate to become more to become big enough that it causes you to launch a big desire now that's when it really starts being fun being in your leading edge physical experience being in this body in this time and in this place because as the perfection of the contrast that surrounds you is happening within you you will be continuously you are already launching these rockets of desire is our favorite terminology you might call it requests or intentions or hopes and dreams in other words when you know what you don't want you know what you do want and even if you're not speaking it out loud even if you're not making declarations to the universe about what you want you are launching these vibrational rockets and that matters because you are a vibrational being and this is a vibrational universe and as you launch that rocket that non-physical part of you the remains non-physical even while you are here in this body that non-physical cadre of pure positive energy which is where we are from which is where we are always those of us who are here receive your requests and understand them immediately we know them we acknowledge them we focus upon them and we give them our attention our awesome attention of non-resistant thought that's a bigger deal than you know because when you hand off one of your requests to your non-physical counterparts and we get hold of it we never deviate from what you are asking for even though you do in fact you deviate constantly and that's really your job you mean to do that you mean to continue to deviate from it while you are collecting the data and while you are making it clearer and clearer all of the pieces of what you are wanting so imagine how this is so you live a little life and you launch a rocket and we've got it and we hold it and then you live more life and you launch another rocket and we hold the vision of what you are continually throwing our way and all the while without you even knowing it each request that you are launching into this non-physical ether into this what we are calling your vortex this vibrational reality all of these requests 
are finding one another the harmonics of it is indescribable cooperative components are taking place and not just the things that you are putting out there vibrationally but anything that is compatible anything that cooperates with what you are requesting becomes a part of that mix and it becomes bigger and brighter and more powerful and it is yours it is your creation that you have given birth to and it remains in a constant state of becoming not only because you continue to live life and you continue to put forth more requests but because those of us who are non-physical are tending your garden who are knowing what you are wanting are seeing it fully in its becoming are knowing the vision that you set forth in fact we are knowing the vision that you have set forth in ways that you cannot yet know it and the reason that we see it more clearly than you do is because we dwell eternally in a state of non-resistant thought in other words when you make your death experience there's no such thing as death that word is bogus there's no death but when you know when you croak we try to be as disrespectful as we can about what you think is death because there isn't any but when you have what you call your death experience you re-emerge into non-physical you come where we are and you leave behind all resistance but you are not ever going to leave behind all resistance while you're here in this physical body so don't beat up on yourself when you are in a resistant state that resistance is part of your decisive process it's part of what helps you to know more clearly what you are wanting it's all part of the process it's a wonderful thing just don't hang around in an attitude of pushing so hard against what you do not want let what you don't want serve you in helping you to identify what you do want but make a decision to join us more often in focusing upon what you do want so during the days that are before us as we are together in this forum we'll talk about anything that matters to you and you are going to notice that what matters to you will continue to evolve we're going to be a little bit persuasive with you because what matters to us about what matters to you is that we would like you to catch some obvious to you glimpses of what it feels like to be in a moment in time just a little one where you know for sure where you know for sure that you are experiencing non-resistant thought you can't tell right now but by the end of this voyage you will know the power of non-resistant thought you will understand why some things are so easy to some people and some things are so hard to some people you're going to feel yourself finding a new orientation for this physical life experience it is our knowing that you are going to be less willing to struggle and sacrifice and be in an attitude of service you're going to come to know your true power your true place why you are really here the upliftment that you have possible for you and then of course you know you teach through the clarity of your own example so as you find these moments in time where you are in a state of non-resistance and you feel the cooperation of the universe and you can feel yourself riding that magic carpet and you can feel things working out for you in ways that perhaps they have never done before and you can see the astonishment on the faces of those who have been observing you because they are just not being able to figure out how things are unfolding for you in this way because you are not doing the things that they've all decided that you need to do in order to thrive you're not suffering enough for most of them you're not sacrificing enough it's way too easy you're having way too much fun because you have connected to your true power you come to understand the steps in this creative process and maybe for the first time while we are together in these days you will come to know your absolute worthiness now we're not going to get too carried away with that because your acknowledgement of your value it's not something that you find easily you've practiced for a while feeling unworthy and so you've got habits of thought you have beliefs you hold away good stuff for no good reason you stand sometimes often nearly all the time <laughs> in an attitude of wanting to prove yourself to something that is not asking for proof you stand in a place of wanting to 
be understood when non-physical understands you in ways that you cannot begin to know. <laughs>